Hi, everyone. Just want everybody to see my shirt, boat. I know today isn't a boating day, but, you know, keep it in mind. It's something important. Okay, happy first full week of May. I um, just want to say thank you for those of you who joined the Socratic last week. As I told many of you, it was really an opportunity for you guys to engage with each other and to talk about all the interesting research that you've done. Uh, and it was so fun and fascinating to watch you guys engage in that way and really make the best of doing it over Zoom. But even though I ended up doing it, I initially did it for you guys. In the end, I felt like I got just as much out of it and I just got to sit back and watch you guys be awesome and really take it seriously. And I really appreciate that. And for those who didn't get an opportunity to participate, I'm really hoping we can do another one at the end of the year, even if it's just to say hi and so I can see your faces. Um, get super excited for the next two weeks. We have a really interesting unit coming up on Latin America social movements. Ms. Pearson took charge this week and has some great lessons for you guys. So I'm going to explain that below. In terms of your borders project, I've loved, loved, loved watching them so far. They're really great. Um, they are taking a bit of time, of course, um, but it's so fun to hear your voices and to see your faces. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll get them done by Friday, May 15th. And uh, remember, this is one of the three projects you need to pass the class. So my video for this week is um, a video by PBS, which talks about sort of this fantasy post-pandemic world. And yes, there is a shout out to teachers. So obviously I love that. But it's really just sort of a beautiful, uplifting message of what could come from such a terrible time. Um, Ms. Pearson wrote a letter below. Um, the only part that I agree with, well, I, I love if you listen to podcasts, but please do your homework. That would make me so happy. Um, so speaking of homework, here are some updates on yours. Last week, Ms. Pearson posted an ed puzzle. It was called Intro to Latin America Social Movements. It's due by midnight tonight. So you have three ed puzzles this week. The first ed puzzle, the intro, is due tonight at midnight. We know it's been a little wonky with the grading. Just hang tight with us. We have to go through and manually grade some of the answers. So just stay tuned for that. Ms. Pearson will also be posting two other ed puzzles this week. The first ed puzzle will come today. That's all about the Zapatista movement. You're going to watch the ed puzzle. You're going to stop where it says stop and read the documents. And the documents are on this calendar below. Um, and then uh, Thursday, Ms. Pearson's going to post another Ed Puzzle. Um, and in that Ed Puzzle will be the same thing. You'll listen to her explain the material, and then you'll read some documents. So I'm going to recap. You have three Ed Puzzles this week. One, Intro to Latin America Social Movements. Two is the Z Intro to the Zapatista Movement. That will be posted today. And three, the reaction, how people responded to how people protested in this Zapatista movement, which will be posted Thursday. The Tuesday and Thursday Ed Puzzles are due Friday at midnight. And again, if this is confusing, it's all right here. So here's the calendar, right? Intro to Latin America Ed Puzzle, that's due tonight. The other Ed Puzzle that's posted this week will be linked here once Ms. Pearson's finished um, recording it. And here are the documents you need. Tomorrow, we're not going to post anything. And then Thursday, we'll have the other Ed Puzzle, and we'll post that on Thursday. You can find the links for the Ed Puzzles here or on Canvas. And Friday, your work is just to finish up everything, and the Ed Puzzles are due at midnight. And here are our office hours links this week. All of our office hours will be at 1. Oh, my first one's today. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, guys. Uh, hope this made sense. We are coming into the home stretch here. We have two more weeks of content. Okay, two more weeks and then we're going to intro the final. So hang with us, okay? If you're thinking about now's the time to slack off, I would say no, because the final project is also a necessity for passing the class. And you will not understand how to do the final project unless you do the smaller projects before that. Sending you guys big hugs. Big, 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 big hugs. I miss you a lot. Um, more than I ever thought I was going to miss you. It's been really hard, actually. But um, yeah, so... That's all I got. I'm going to just turn this off now and talk to you later. Bye-bye.